is a reason the Ulon area continues to rise in popularity, both for expats and Ecuadorians alike. The long, wide, clean, walkable beaches, beach towns for everybody, regardless of your interests. Lush vegetation with nature everywhere. You just can't escape it. So here we are. Today we're going to uh, show you a couple houses for sale. And uh, we have my friend Gabby here who's going to do that. She's a realtor and um, she also does property management. So here's Gabby. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. Absolutely. So I have been living in Olo in Ecuador for nine years. I am originally from New York City um, and I have been doing real estate for seven. I've been doing real estate, rentals and property management since 2016. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. So you know what you're talking about. I do. She's uh, going to take us to some uh, pretty nice places here. Yeah. So, so we got to know uh, Gabby when uh, she was doing the property management for the house that we eventually Correct. bought, right? That's and true. so that's how we yes. hooked up with uh, okay. with Gabby and uh, her husband and family, and uh, now we're good friends. And there's another good friend. <laughs> there's our good friend. All right, stay tuned. Welcome to Ecuador, my friends. <laughs> you too can have this life. Like in this one, Chris? Yeah, that's the best one I've ever had. Okay, here's Chris having some <laughs> lemonades. <laughs> Okay guys, we're at uh, the Red Ruby house um, and Gabby's gonna take us for a little walk through and show us this lovely house that's for sale. And we'll uh, tell you the price a little bit later. Yeah. So uh, I'm so excited to show yes. you guys the Red Ruby home. This okay. is probably one of my favorites. Red Ruby is a brand new construction. It is only two years old. The owners are um, expats and they built this to be their forever home so you guys will notice there's tons of really special details um, in this property so follow me now where are we Gabby so we're in the Via dos Mangas which is Mangler Alto um, it's about we're about a 15 minute drive to the beach we're more towards the countryside of Mangler Alto so we're not in beach vicinity but you can always just jump in the car and in 15 minutes you're at the beach and stores in town um, we'll start with the outside because the That's garden beautiful. is probably my absolute favorite. Um, so the property is 1,000 square meters. It's about 10,000 square feet um, in size. The whole property is completely fenced with a green wall, which is pretty typical in Ecuador. Um, and I think it's beautiful because yes. you're not looking at like a cement wall or anything yeah. like that. Um, so it's green fence, and then the owners actually, when they built, when they bought the property, before even building, and there's a pool. <laughs> there's a pool that the dog loves. The dog does not come with. The dog the does not come. Well, maybe. No, maybe. Just kidding. Maybe. <laughs> so when they, before even building, what they did was um, just to make sure that the house was earthquake resistant. They actually dug down 1.5 meters, and they refilled 1,000 square meters of dirt. So they put in new dirt, um, they put, uh, they compacted it, and they put something that's called cascajo, which is kind of like a gravel, and then rocks, and then compacted that some more. So the property yes. is actually flood free, <laughs> so it <laughs> never gets flooded, um, and it's, uh, the house is super sturdy and earthquake resistant. They planted the grass, they planted these trees, they have banana, they have plantain, they have pineapple over there Ooh, growing. Nice. Um, yeah, and they have a little huerto, so like a little garden area. And then obviously you gotta have your shed, which is back there. They have the whole pool system. Actually, you know what, follow me. So we I can see bananas on that uh, banana tree. I yep. love this place. Yeah. Swimming pool is brand new. It's only 10 months old. Beautiful. Um, they have a salt water system, so it doesn't use chlorine. Oh, nice. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we can get a better look at the, at the plants. I think that's papaya. Yep, papaya. Three papaya three papayas trees. there. These okay. that might be avocado. I'm not so good with plants, but I think that's an avocado if I'm not mistaken. And then look, little baby, little baby pineapple. Uh, oh, nice. 
So right. they have their water system towards the back. This yep. is their shed, which is like their storage room. And then they have their whole pump system. Water heater is over here. And then if you want to just take a look at the house from here, it's absolutely beautiful. The only bad thing about this house is I don't think you'd ever want to leave. Like I know. Would, if yeah. you're here, you don't want to leave, at least if you need to go to town and such. They put up a, a light, light post over there as well to add some extra illumination. Beautiful. All of this at night is completely illuminated, even the pool. So it looks beautiful. What do you think, Chris? I think this is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm gorgeous pretty... Uh, Pretty happy about this place. This is nice and quiet here. Super quiet. The neighborhood is, is very quiet. There's probably about maybe five other homes nearby. So it's nothing. I mean, it's like almost as if you're living by yourself out here. It's country light. Beautiful country patio. Nice uh, stone tile there. Yep. There's your favorite uh, uh, tree, Chris. Yeah. Oh, that's a uh, plumeria. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. plumeria. That's my favorite as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we we planted nice two at our place that are much smaller than that one. I tried to plant one and it didn't make it, but I'll try again one day at my house. So they have this whole wraparound porch. It's actually even really cool here too. Like you could Ooh. feel the difference in temperature. Beautiful front door, security code there. They do. They actually, the house is very secure. They have a camera system all around, all around the property. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, oh, are you coming in? Okay. You're coming okay. in, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the kitchen. It's an open style, which I feel like a lot of Ecuadorian homes here have. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's just the style, or maybe it's also because of like the humidity, and so they have like the shelves and just very few cabinets. However, they have a separate pantry, so that there is a place to put away the food nice. and the canned goods and the water bottles. Yep. So really nice kitchen. Actually, all of the appliances are stainless steel and they had a bunch of things um, imported. Okay. So brought over in a container. So a lot of the appliances are not purchased here, but they bought from. Now, are they all included in the uh, Everything price is included. Of those? So the house is being sold fully turnkey. So furnished as well. Furnished yes. okay. um, with all the appliances, everything you see, except for maybe a few personal items. Yep. But for example, all of the furniture, the couches, uh, you name it, everything, the rug. It's staying, it's staying as it is. The owners are gonna be um, moving to another country. And so they're just packing up their suitcases and leaving everything else with the property. Mm -hmm. There is a laundry area right here. Wow, let me show you guys. Oh, this door, there you go. Oh yeah. So you yeah. have a laundry area. The washer dryer is actually super top of the line. Yeah, looks, <laughs> according, looks top of the line. According to the owner, they cost him several thousand dollars just for the washer wow. dryer, so top of the line. And then there is a door that leads out to the covered garage. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Go outside. <laughs> so we have open stall kitchen, living room. There's even a doggy door. I was gonna say there's a doggy door. Hey, yeah, we could have bought this place, Chris. <laughs> so the house is a two bedroom, two bathroom. It's just the couple. So they have their master bedroom and then they have a guest bedroom. Oh, master nice. bedroom leads out to the wraparound porch. A nice big room. Nice big room. Air conditioning. AC, air conditioning. Here and then walk-in. Oh, in look at that walk-in. Chris, you could. Oh, where is the light switch? Right there. Yeah. There we there go. There we go. Beautiful walk-in closet. Yeah, Beautiful walk-in closet. His on one side, hers on the other. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly how I would have mine as well. That's where our grandchildren would sleep when they came to visit if we had this place. It's so big. Yeah, I know. Huge bathroom. Oh, well. nice big bathroom. Yeah. yeah. That's nice great. Nice bathroom. Beautiful uh, stone tile in the shower there, glass shower. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Also, uh, faucets, all the faucets um, were also imported. So they're not from Ecuador. They had them brought over in the container as well. So there's like super top of the line details in, in, this, in this house. So when was it built again? Because everything seems brand like new. brand new. 2021, it was built. It yeah. was finished. Um, the swimming pool is was built 10 months ago. So not even a year ago. So it's brand new. Like it has that feel and it's good. It's the perfect time because during a build, anyone's build, there's always little things that need to be fixed exactly. for the first six months after. If anyone's you know, built a home and, and here everything's been fixed. So exactly. It's great. Exactly. Okay, you Chris wants to show it. me something here. Look at this beautiful sink. Like, 
That is some yeah. nice detail there. That was actually one of the first things I noticed when I came and saw this house, and the first thing I asked was, where did you get this thing from? Yeah, this <laughs> is so unique. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Very nice. Nice big ceramic as well. And then little vanity corner. Oh, wow. I love, my daughters would love that so much. <laughs> That's great. So, oh, super quick. There is storage in the house. Yep. Nice, nice. Which yep. is a nice big plus yep. hallway closet. I love storage. This is to put things away. And then this is the other bedroom. So this would be like their guest bedroom guest slash bedroom. office. It's a little bit smaller, but it's still nicely, oh, nice great. size. All the furniture is custom made. So if you want to just look at the details, the bed, the desk over there in the corner, the dresser, this barn bathroom door, not oh, really sure what it's, it's called, like a sliding door. And yep. there is yeah. another bathroom yep. back here. Oh. Oh. Everything is custom made by local <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, even the guest bathroom is beautiful and nice and big. Yeah. Yeah. Um, owner also had that made, that's on top of the toilet. They really spent a lot of time deciding how they wanted their house. And this also has a nice big closet. Not as big as the other one, but it's big enough to hang some stuff and maybe add another dresser yep. or two and just put some things away. Well, I know everybody in Canada, they love these doors. It's in right these now. These doors actually. are super cool. Yeah. Great decor feature. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the nice thing about these doors is that it saves a lot of space. And then also like aesthetically, mm -hmm. it gives a little something extra to the home. And yeah, especially sure. this kind of house, which is like a country home, I feel like it's the perfect, perfect fit. Yes. How's that teak? It looks like teak All of the me. wood is teak. Yeah. yeah. All of yeah. the wood here is teak. Lovely. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the red ruby. The red ruby red house. Red home. Here, let's come out this way. In fact, the first time I came into this house, I already had my house built, obviously, no longer. When I first came into this house, I was like, I should have done that. I was like, why did I not think of doing that? <laughs> Some nice ideas. Oh, one really super special feature about this home, and you wouldn't even notice it was there unless someone pointed it out, is if you look up, you'll see little vents. Okay. So what they did was the space in between the drop ceiling and the roof, that little space can obviously get filled with lots of humidity. You know, the climate here is super humid. Yeah. So they had created those vents so that all the humidity that may rise up in the home yeah gets kind of ventilated outwards, which I thought was a super cool feature that obviously like preserves the inside of the home. Yeah, so there's sure. not so much humidity in the walls, on the furniture, on the clothes, so. Yeah, cool feature. This place is absolutely beautiful. So Gabby, are you gonna tell us? How much How is this much? house? How much? So this property is going for $189,000. I, yeah. it's I, a steal. Yeah. It's a steal. It's a steal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and as as you not, you guys know, in Ecuador, prices are negotiable. Yes. And so that's a negotiable yes. price. The owners are definitely willing, willing to listen to offers. But honestly, in my opinion and expertise, I think that's a fabulous price for yeah. what you're getting. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you said it's furnished. It comes furnished. Comes fully so furnished. Everything's here. Comes you're fully just furnished. Like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. In make fact, your with offer that, and yeah. uh, take your key and come on in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and those of you who don't know about the Dos Mangas uh, area, that's a great uh, starting point for a Google search because it's a magical place. And I'll leave it at that so that you can go research that yourself. There Dos you Mangas. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, again, the Red Ruby House, $189,000. So Gabby, is there any opportunity to expand because it is two bedrooms and some people get lots of guests uh, and uh, would want a little bit more space? Absolutely. So the as I mentioned before, the lot is a thousand square meters in size. There is 227 square meters of construction. So that leaves you plenty of space like to expand. Just, just look in this if, backyard. You could totally like, build onto that shed a little bit. Or the bottom of the back left there, there's a spot. If you wanted to add. A little yes, casita or something if you casita, wanted to. A yeah. little casita, a room. There's definitely a, enough, enough space for expansion. Yeah. In fact, off the second guest bedroom, I'm not sure if you guys noticed that the window looking out, there's like a little space there. You can even build back there if you wanted to leave the backyard yeah, the way right. it is and yeah, not take yeah. down any plans. You can even build back there. There's possibilities, there's possibilities. if you wanted to put in a, a third, third bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. So uh, with this house, uh, they put in their own driveway uh, with uh, some more crushed gravel and stuff so that it's not muddy or whatever. And uh, look at this beautiful uh, gate going into the house. 
uh, security and of course it has its own transformer so which is really important if you know anything about Ecuador having your own transformer because we had that issue and we'll tell you it's it could be a an issue <laughs> So this house is in um, small town Rio Chico, which is not too far away from Mangalore Alto. Yeah. And um, Gabby's just gonna take us around some of the area here first. Yeah. So tell us about the community. The community yes. first. We are at Ocean View Hill. Ocean View Hill is located in Rio Chico, as Chrissy said. That is about two minutes south of Mangalore Alto. It's about ten minutes from Montanito Olón, so we're not far. Um, right after the town of Cadiate, which is a famous bread town on the coast. Ocean View Hill has 11 homes right now built. Um, there is room for expansion here, but when it, this house, A2, we're going to focus on, is on the first row in the gated community. So it faces the social area, which is composed of a swimming pool, it's got a barbecue grill area, a sitting area, and then we're also super close to the front gate where there is 24 seven security um, and also the administrator's office. Uh, Ocean View provides on-site maintenance. Um, so it's very nicely well kept. Nice. Uh, so yeah, we can do a little walk around. Yeah, yeah let's around do that. Area. Yeah. yeah, cool, follow me. So the social area is wheelchair accessible. Which Perfect. Is plus. Yes. We're gonna just jump over this right here got the barbecue grill area, oh, very tables, nice. yep. sink, um, some of the expats that live in Ocean View get together in this area and, uh, you know, play cards or play poker. Nice. Just, you know, keep back and relax. Look at the, uh, did you get that oven there? I did. Yeah, very nice. So, like I said, it's wheelchair accessible, so you can come up this ramp, but we'll come up the stairs. And it's got a nice big swimming pool. Um, also places to sit. Oh, the swimming pool has a really cute feature, which is um, there's like little stools underneath. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, okay. So you yeah. can actually sit there and have a drink and like be sitting at your bar. <laughs> <laughs> really awesome. And then over on this end as well, you have another little table and just some shade to hang out. Yeah, in. nice. Yeah. Outdoor shower and bathroom are right here. And then if you want to just kind of look back right here, you got a view of Ocean View Hill. So you have some you have one, two, three, four uh, first row homes. A2 is one of them. <laughs> and then you have um, houses on the second row. And then on the top row, yeah. you have two homes that have ocean views. So here we are at the front door. And come on in. And come on in, guys. Guys. for a tour. Welcome to A2. So we call this house Hermosa Villa Rio Chico. Villa in Ecuador or in Spanish is like little home. So this property is 113 square meters of construction and it sits on a 304 square meter lot. So you here you have open style kitchen and living room. The owners bought this property not too long ago but it's about five, almost six years old in construction but they purchased this um, a couple years ago. So all the furniture is pretty much brand new. Um, they kind of remodeled it to make it their own. The family's from Ecuador. So it's all included. It's all included. Okay. The property is being sold fully turnkey, so with everything you see. The owners of this house are going to be relocating to another country, and so they're not really going to be taking much with them. So even if you want to just come this way, like all of the kitchen items are going to be coming with the home. So the fridge, fridge, and oh, microwave, microwave, all here. everything, table, etc. So down this way, if you guys want to follow me, we have three bedrooms and three bathrooms. The first bedroom is the master bedroom. It has its own bathroom, and it also has a door that leads out to the front deck. Oh, that's great. Um, so actually, from the master bedroom, you even have like a view of the social area and pool area that we saw. Master bedroom has AC unit and has a nice big bathroom with some closet space. Perfect. It's nice and cool in here. Yeah. Yep. And then yep. down this way we have the other two bedrooms. The owners they added a third bed uh, bathroom, which I'll show you in a second. Okay. So here we have bedroom number two. Um, also with the AC unit, um, and it has its own bathroom, which was added. This was the bathroom that was added by the people who purchased this home. And then closet as well. So we have three bedrooms, three, three bathrooms. bedrooms. Three bathrooms. Third bedroom is back here. 
The bedrooms are all like pretty decent size. All the bedrooms you can fit like closet, desk, or dresser, and like at least a queen size bed. So they're pretty pretty well sized. This house is a little bit smaller than the last one that we saw, um, but nonetheless, it's like a pretty good size for family, family or couple. And then this is the third bathroom and also would be considered like the guest bathroom because it's in the hallway and so people can use it if they're visiting. Great. Yeah. Okay. And you were saying that there's a backyard. There's right a here. backyard, so let me take you there right now. Yeah. Okay. So back here we have the backyard. It's a private backyard. We got washer dryer area. Right in here. Yep. Great. The owners put some shelves here just to, you know, store some things. Yep. And then a nice little sunny area with some rocks. So this area can be kept to dry the clothes or they can add, you know, whoever buys it can add whatever they want in here. It'd be really nice to have a few uh flowers and pots and stuff yeah, some here. plants would yeah. be nice a garden yeah. or something yeah you know. for sure and then here the gym area and then back here we have the water heater the water tank pump etc So Gabby, are you going to uh, tell us how much is this uh, three bedroom, three yes. bath house yes. in the gated community? So the listing price is $125,000. Um, there is an HOA fee. The monthly HOA is $170 a month, which covers 24-7 security, pool maintenance, um, garbage pickup, um, administrator, and on-site maintenance. And um, let me just ask, yeah. uh, how far away is the beach? So yeah. if somebody wanted to walk to the beach, how long would the walk be? It's a short five minute walk. Um, what you do is when you exit the gate of the gated community, um, you make a left on the Ruta de Spondilus, and then you make a sharp right, and then you're just one block yeah. from the beach. So oh. it's like two blocks yeah. from the beach. Perfect. So close. Perfect. So you get the beach, the pool, yeah. Yeah. security. Security. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. All in one. Great. Should be in real estate, Chris. I know. <laughs>
uh, pictures of the family members not included in the bed. <laughs> um, but furniture, kitchen appliances, pots and pans, you name it, everything is going. Let's have a Perfect. peek at that view. Yes. Yeah, yeah. beautiful view is there. Thank you. Nice big windows. Always get a breeze up with this stuff. Yeah, so we walk out here and then you have this additional covered space here where you can, you know, sit out and have your cup of coffee or have some breakfast. Um, this this is the entire property, so they have it kind of terraced. So you have the house over here, but then you have all of this grassy area that you know you can potentially do something with. There's definitely room for expansion on this property. Yeah, the pool with the uh, water feature. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So how uh, old is the house? It looks in fantastic shape. The house, well, the swimming pool is actually less than two years old. Um, yeah. But during the pandemic, the owners decided to build this swimming pool because there's nowhere else to go. Nowhere else to go during <laughs> that time, and so they started building it. The house is just over five years old. So it's a pretty fairly new construction. There is also a special perk about this property and we'll show you guys in just a second. Um, this land, it actually has two deeds. We're listing it for sale as one, so it's 1,200 square meters. However, that 1,200 square meters um, is actually divided in two portions. Um, one is about 800 meters and the other is 300 square meters. That 300 square meters, we will show you in just a second. Um, that has its own private deed and whoever buys the property, can either keep it or if they wanted to sell it in the future, they can do so as well. Okay. So follow me so we can show you the rest of the house. We've got beautiful living room. And what's the, the built-in? Built-in? Built-in. Yeah. yeah. There's the lights so in there too. Yeah, yeah the lighting. It looks accent so lighting is great. I bet, yeah. yeah. Nice hallway, family pictures all over the house. So you have bathroom number one right here. This is um, also Technically, the guest bathroom since whoever's visiting has access to it in the hallway. And then back here we have bedroom. This is the guest bedroom, so it's a bit smaller than the other one. Guest bedroom back here. And the master bedroom, which is obviously a lot bigger, and it's got a beautiful view. It's got its own bathroom, which is also a tad bit larger than the other one. Looks like a king bed. Looks like a king bed. <laughs> 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 king bed. <laughs> Master bedroom with the view, and then also we can come out this way to the same front deck that we were just at a few minutes ago. The owner, I should mention too, the owner's a chef, that's why the kitchen is so well appointed. Mm -hmm. And he's got a little garden. He's got his own garden here. So oh, he uh, grows a lot of his own food. A, I, I see basil, I see eggplant. I think he does cucumbers, dill. And then if you want to just step over here really quick, you don't have to walk over the net, but basically where the net is and where you see all these trees and kind of this empty space is that additional 300 square meters, like I said, included in the sale, but it has its own deed, own title, meaning that, I mean, hey, you know, whoever buys it, if they decided I don't need this much land and I want to make back a little bit of my money, they can sell this off. That's this great. would have its own entrance, which is also kind of overgrown and hard to see, but it would have its own entrance kind of down. They would have to build some stairways up and then they would share just that kind of first portion of the driveway. So I, I say it's a huge part because I mean, you know, the property value in this area is going up. And so five years from now, who knows what this, this piece of land here can go for. I'm just curious, yeah. what is uh, the fruit on this tree? I think it's big. It's big. It's big. big. Yeah. Yes. And look at the bananas. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've never. So why does he? Um, does, I don't know. Is this like a thing that they do here in Ecuador? Or I think do they? He does it because he covers he's protecting them from the birds. Oh. They'd be eating. They would be eating them. Yeah. Gotcha. They do that also. I don't know if you guys notice when you drive to White Hill when you see all those banana and, and plantain yes, plantations. Yes. Those are all like covered with bags. Yeah. I think they do it for the same reason. We didn't know why. Yeah. 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 Now we know why. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Let's finish seeing the rest of the property. There is the bodega, which right now obviously has the owner's things on it. It's got the washer dryer, and then it's just kind of like a additional piece of the oh, yeah. piece of the property where they can store things. Or this is where Zeus lives <laughs> most of the time. And then this wall you see here is actually a rock and cement retaining wall um, because obviously this is a mountain property and so the lot behind this is on a slope and so right. this protects the property. <laughs> Very well built.
So and washer this is and dryer washer dryer is included. Everything is included. Yeah, great storage area if you want it. And then we won't interrupt Zeus's area, but if no. you just kind of go straight down, that gate where Zeus is standing leads you back to where we started. Okay. Yeah, so outside. Can, yes, yeah. the outside. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I love this house. I do too. I love this thing so much. And the people here. Okay. Yeah, the kitchen's gorgeous. Isn't it? I think this is probably where they spend most of their time. They well, love to cook. Silly. <laughs> they love to host. Mm -hmm. And just wanted to add a little bit, something special about the owners is um, these guys have probably the biggest hearts that I've seen on the coast. Uh, and they do a lot of like humanitarian relief work. And so since the pandemic, they've been uh, fundraising, I believe with their church back in the States. Um, and and uh, do pantry. food pantry mm -hmm. and do food kits um, every week for local families in need in the area. They've been doing that since the pandemic, so they haven't oh, stopped. That's um, not, not even local. They go way they go way in, like, in. Way and into so the jungle. Once a week, um, this kitchen is full of things and people here, like local people here, like hacking up the food kits. And then they have a friend who has a pickup truck, and they go and they bring out the food to the local families. So nice. you know what? It's nice. important to note that. You always got to give back to the community, you know, even if you're not from here, and any little bit helps. Yeah. And so I think it's just to be noted that these folks are, are going to be really missed in Ecuador. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Chris, would you live in this place? I know I would. This I would too. Very this comfortable. is a gorgeous house. Very comfortable, nice views. And I like the fact you can walk right down into Mango Alto and get what you need and yep. come back and sit by the pool. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is about a maybe 12, 15 minute walk to the beach. Uh, or if you're a fast walker like me, maybe 10. But it's actually not far at all. And you're just a short two minute walk down to the highway yeah. where you can catch buses, taxis, etc. So Deb, are you gonna do the big reveal for us uh, on sure. what this is asking? Yes. Oh, that, oh, I thought you meant we have <laughs> two big reveals. Oh, two big reveals. Because oh, yes. we've got a bonus space that we wanted to show you. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, let's so do, if we, let's look at the bonus space. Let's do that first then. First, before yeah. we do the big yeah. reveal. The big yes. reveal. Come this way. rental or it could be for family members but the big perk is that up here you've got an even nicer view than Look you do at the house. Look at that view. It's a 360 degree view. I mean back here you have mountains. And even if you didn't want to do anything big you could just put a little patio up here. A little patio up here. Absolutely. Yeah. Or this you could do great. like a master bedroom here yep. and I mean it, there's But he plumbed it. He's got it ready to be plumbed oh, and right. electric. So I mean it could be a really cute little suite. Yeah, you know, yeah. a guest suite. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and it's big. I mean, yeah. it's really pretty spacious. So, so Deb, are you going to tell us now? I am. <laughs> this house is 259000 which is a great deal for all you get here. And that includes, again, all the appliances, all the furniture, the everything turnkey. you see, turnkey. Perfect. That's uh, an amazing price to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> 